subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's me Ashish Johan from Ashview Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today in this video we are going to create a very unique photo manipulation on the New Year concept. So today you will do you know very realistic New Year photo editing. So before getting to the photo, so just press the like button on this video if it really helped you to you know make such more and more good videos and photos. And if you haven't subscribed the channel, then do subscribe and press the bell icon so that it will notify whenever I post new video. And log on to our website that is www.aspirecreations.com. From there, you can find new background, PNG, color lookup, camera preset, Lightroom preset, every kind of photo editing stuff for free. So just go and check it out. Let's go to the Photoshop. Open the Photoshop and open the photo which you want to add it. Now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool from here and click on this plus icon to make it selected. Just uh, select, you know, just um, roll on the subject's body to make it select. Now if you want to select the hairs, we are going to, going to do a, you know, very unique technique that is right click on it and sel uh, select the select and mask option in Photoshop CC or you can uh, go to the refine edge tool in photoshop cs6 or something like that now select this and just you have to press on the second tool that is refine edge brush tool and select on this plus icon just roll all over the subjects here to make it selected this is a very realistic technique and this will actually you know select the hairs of the subject very precisely precisely now just press ok now right click on it and select layer copy option to make the duplication of the layer of the selection or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard here you can see we have you know made a duplication of the layer here it is something remaining so i will select the pen tool to make it selected and just select this portion by using press alt key on this uh, area and just you can select this way also if it is something is remaining you can select in this way by using the pen tool now just press ctrl enter to make it selected go to this layer and press delete because we don't want that selection now all we are gonna do is here also the same way we all do just to select this by using the pen tool press alt key on this end points Now just press ctrl enter on from the keyboard and press delete directly to delete that portion. Here we have almost completed our you know selection process. Now it's time to add the background to the photograph. So I will go to the file, click on open and let's select the background, open the background which this background can be found on the link given in the description. Now all you need to do is just press ctrl A, ctrl C and just ctrl V to drag or you can directly drag and drop the background also. It is a very easy method. Now press Ctrl D to make the transformation. So we'll just you know add just the uh, you know transformation area from here and just uh, you know here we have almost adjusted the area. Now it's time to crop the final image. So we'll select the press this by using the control now select the crop tool from here and just move it in the downward motion so here we have made the cropping of the subject press enter to crop now all we're gonna do is just uh, go to the adjustment layer select the levels from here click on the clipping mask option now the move move slider from left to right until this uh, data portion from here the data start so you can move the slider from here to here also so that it will create you know perfect deafness on the photograph here you can see the before and after effect it really enhanced the photo yes it really makes it look more realistic and natural you can move a little bit downwards also yes now it seems okay 
you can crop it also now just press enter to crop so finally here you can see the before and after effect we have given a very you know perfect tone to the photograph now it's time to you know now the very first thing you will do is just uh, create a clipping create a new layer and just create a clipping mask select the brush tool from here uh, or let's select the eraser tool there is something more remaining to be erased so I'll select the hard round brush and just erase the unwanted area where you don't want selection you can just delete it by using the eraser tool now let's select the brush tool, create, go to the layer and press alt key over here so decrease the size of the brush press alt key to select the nearest area color and just paint it like this way all you need to do is just paint the subject's edge so that it will look very realistic and natural here also you have to do the same thing because this will actually create your subject to look more realistic and natural that we actually want in the photograph your photo should not be look like you have edited one it should always look that you have you know perfectly captured in the camera that is the main motive of the editing process don't do over editing anytime because that will create a very negative impression on the viewers eye so always go for a realistic and natural editing just paint on the edge of the subject very precisely press ctrl z to undo just like this way you have to make it also uh, paint on this edge also make sure everything is you know selected in the proper way here also you have to do the same thing make sure every corner of the subject is properly painted don't forget to paint on the edge of the shoes because that is also a very important part of our photograph so just paint it in a perfect way so let's uh, do on this side also now select the eraser tool to delete this portion from here so now we have almost done our brushing the edge now it looks very realistic and natural now just merge both the layers right click on it and select merge layer option now we'll make the hair of the subject by using the smudge tool from here now just you know smudge it in this direction this will make your hair to look more realistic and natural select the hard round brush change the strength to around 30 percent because that would be more perfect i guess so you can make your hair like this way this will make you to look more realistic you can select the eraser tool to delete some of the portions from here right click on it select soft brush and you can erase some unwanted area or the portion which you don't want by using the eraser tool now let's select the burn tool from here select the exposure to around 40 or 30 percent just to paint it to black color on the edges 
so finally here here we have made the adjustment perfectly and so it's time to add one more photo that is of new year 2019 just drag it and drop over this tab now go to the blending mode and select the screen from here now the photo or the thing 2019 is not seen perfectly so we will just do one thing first of all we will go to the adjustment and select color lookup and change select any of the color lookup from here let's select this color lookup this one looks very pretty so just now all you need to do is create new layer and just uh, increase the size of the brush and just paint it now all you gonna do is go to the filter select blur and gaussian blur just make it blur to around 200 percent now press ctrl t and just you need to do is just drag it drag it over this tab and below this you know 2019 layer just increase the amount or the gradation you can drag over below this tab subjects layer now it seems very very realistic and perfect now all you gonna do is just add one more you know text that would be the happy new year track text so just select the text tool from here and select the color to this uh, to this color now just uh, type the happy new year from the text press enter place it bit be, be, uh, inside this circle you can increase the size or if you want to change the text you can change it from here whatever kind of text you want you can change it from here let's select all and you can change from here Now all you're gonna do is let's uh, change the color. And just press enter. <clears throat> now it looks very very awesome, yes. It looks a perfect example for the, you know, Happy New Year. This you can make in your photograph. This one looks very very unique and uh, you know perfectly edited photo no one can say that it is a realistic or unreal first of, now let's blur the edge of the subject that was where we made remaining portion so i'll select the hard round brush and select the opacity strength to 40 percent and just uh, you know blur the edge of the subject because that will create you know a very realistic look on the photo which we actually want your photo should not look that you have edited no one can identify that whether it is edited or a real one so we are blowing the edges of the subject to make it look more natural and realistic it should be looking like you have captured it from the camera so we are blurring that that is was that was a very important part of the photo editing session so you should always blur the edge of the subject very very properly this will actually make your subject to look more you know realistic and a natural way so i recommend you to blur the edge of the subject in every photo editing so finally here we have completed our editing process and now let's time to merge all the layers select uh, 
right click and select merge layer option from there and again press the crop tool and just crop it now if you want to add some vignette you can add it but i recommend don't add too much vignette this is a perfect way if you want then you can go to the filter select camera filter and you can go to the effects tab from here and kind of you know add a little bit of vignette if you want but i recommend don't add the vignette because this this one this look is actually a very realistic which we actually want so you can add a little bit of plus or minus two or minus three a vignette and just press ok so here you can see the perfect example for your new year this would be your you know perfect photo for the new year very realistic and a perfectly edited bokeh very natural so here you can see the before and after effect i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video then press the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet then just subscribe and press the bell icon so that it will notify whenever i post new video and log on to our website that is www.aspircreations.com from there you can find new background png color lookup and every kind of photo editing stuff for free so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video